Hi all. In this video, we're going to look at the first of our landscape features, a V-shaped valley. Now, when you're explaining this, or any of the other landscape features that we're going to be looking at, you need to make sure that you use the diagrams that are in this video, or in your notes, um, or just any of the diagrams that we go over with this. Now, they don't need to be works of art, but they do need to be accurate, they need to be labelled, because they are important. It's also important to remember that in your answers, the first time you use one of the geographical terms, so you know, attrition, corrasion, etc., it's important that you then explain what that term means. You can't just use the term straight up, you need to offer the information of what it means. Once you've done it once, you don't need to keep explaining it, but you do explain it the first time. So, V-shaped valleys. First, what is one? Now, a V-shaped valley is the name of your typical upland river valley. And it's called this because it's got very steep sides that lead down to the river in something that closely comes to a V-shape. Now, when we think about the formation of a V-shaped valley, we split it up into four stages. So, first, in the upper course, rivers tend to erode straight down, or vertically. So it's this idea that here's the river here, and erosion's happening straight down down the way. Um, and this is just because it's only got enough energy to erode that way. And as, as it says on the screen, we call this vertical erosion. Now the most common type of erosion here is attrition. So remembering to explain it. This is where rocks bang against one another and the banks and the bed of the river. And corrasion happens as well. And this is where these rocks are also rubbing against one another, the banks and the bed of the river. Both processes resulting in material being either chipped off, in the case of attrition, or rubbed and worn off, in the case of corrasion. Now the next stage that we look at, the actual banks of the river get weathered. Now weathering is a term we've not covered yet, and weathering is just erosion, but it's the weather that does it. So it's rain and ice and changes in temperature that cause cracks and kind of cause the, the slopes themselves, the soil, the rocks that make up the river banks, to break down. Once this has happened, this material is going to be transported downstream. So it physically falls off the banks into the river and then it flows away downstream. This results in the valley sides becoming much more steep. Once this has happened, we wind up with our nice V-shaped valley. And see, so this is a kind of steep-sided, narrow valley, very, very typical in upper course upland rivers. Now remember, this is a typical exam question, and you're expected to be able to produce this from memory with the diagrams under exam conditions. So it's well worth practicing writing this out, Make a perfect version up using your notes. We'll review perfect versions in class. And being able to produce this with as little stress as you can manage. Now, that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to look at our second upper course feature, which is a waterfall. We'll see you guys then.